Today I'm getting back to basics and sharing a quick tutorial on how I level and trim my cake layers. Now I've shared a tutorial on trimming cake layers in the past, but it was super short and it didn't really cover things in as much depth as I probably should have. So this is my updated, amended, latest and greatest version. I get a lot of questions about this because a lot of people really struggle getting a nice clean cut or trimming the caramelization off the sides of their cake. They feel like they're cutting off too much of the cake or they're tearing their cake. So we're gonna walk through the whole process today and exactly how I like to prepare my cake layers. When you're leveling a cake, you want to make sure that you're keeping your elbow in. It just makes it so much easier to have a nice controlled handle on your knife, and it also helps you keep the knife more level. I like to slowly work my way around the cake. Some people cut straight across, but I feel like a lot of times that can lead to slanted cuts or just all kinds of crazy things. So when I level my cakes, I slowly rotate the cake and work my knife in towards the center. I really like this approach because if you start to go too low or too high, you can really see it as you're going, and it makes it a lot easier to correct if you get a little bit off track. As you're doing this, you wanna make sure you have a really gentle touch. You're hardly pushing on the knife at all. You're really letting the knife do all of the hard work. You also wanna make sure that as you're rotating it, the hand that's rotating the cake layers, you're keeping a close eye on because it is going to be somewhat close to the knife. And I've gotten so comfortable over the years, like I don't even think about it. But if you're new to this process, really just take your time and keep an eye on that hand so that you don't cut your fingers. I have 100% cut my fingers in the past um, and it's not fun. One really important thing to keep in mind before you level your cake layers is to make sure that they're properly at room temperature. Even if the outside feels like it's not hot anymore. Sometimes the center can still be hot. And if you're trying to level it, that is the number one reason I see cakes fall apart or crumble or trimming just go terribly wrong is because your cake layers aren't fully cooled. I like to take it a little bit further in the other direction and sometimes I'll actually chill my cake layers in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes, not so they're frozen, you definitely don't want them fully frozen, but just to have them chilled, it helps minimize crumbing and I think it makes them a lot easier to cut. So once we've leveled the top of the cake, it's time to work on the caramelization on the sides. Now this is optional and caramelization honestly tastes really good. This is more of like if you're trying to make like a fluffy white wedding cake or something and you don't want the kind of like browning line showing up in your slices. So if that's what you're after, or say you made a really colorful cake layer and you really want the colors to pop and not to have that brown lining around your cake layer, that's when I like to trim the sides. So we're gonna take our hand on top of the cake layer and we're just gonna slowly work our way down the side of the cake. Now the key here, again, you guys, is patience and taking your time. Now as you're doing this, you're trying to remove as little cake as possible. So it's better to err on the side of not removing all the browning than cutting into your cake and removing a, a bunch of your cake layer. So it's okay if you have to go around maybe more than once. Sometimes I'll do two passes or I'll be conservative on my first pass and then do a few little touch-up spots the second time around. Once you're happy with the sides of the cake, you can totally stop there, but if you really wanna take it to the next level, some people will also remove the caramelization from the bottom of the cake layer. Now, I think this is actually the easiest part to remove, but you really wanna be careful that your knife is parallel to the counter and that you are just removing that tiny little film of browning on the bottom. I recommend doing this in little pieces and not trying to go straight across just so that way you can make sure you're not cutting away any of your cake. I think this part is the most forgiving though of the entire process. If you freeze your cake layers and make them in advance, I recommend letting them thaw pretty much to room temperature before you start leveling them, or you can also trim them and then freeze them. Either way works, I usually trim them and then freeze them just so that way in the future it's much faster to assemble the cake, but this is totally up to you and it's all about your personal preference. So there you have it, a totally trimmed cake layer. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. You can find my vanilla cake recipe, which is what I use today on chelsweets.com, and I'll include the link in the video description. Until next time, happy baking.